Hell hath no fury like fish during Lent. This is Darius Gaiden for the Sega Saturn, and after a millennia of being eaten by humans, sea creatures are out for vengeance. I think there's actually a plot to this game, but I just assumed it was a more action-packed version of Star Trek IV. The Search for Whales? Remember the one where they have to go back in time and find humpback whales to uh, repopulate the species because the aliens uh, are destroying Earth? But rather than flying your Silverhawk spaceship around the sun to go back in time, you're going to face the aliens head-on this time. There's no political maneuvering and womanizing by Kirk. You're out for blood. Fish blood. This game is fantastic, and this is the first of the Sega Saturn shooting games that's being reviewed here on Classic Game Room HD. The Saturn did not have a long lifespan, but is widely regarded as a great system for two-dimensional shooting games. And Darius Gaiden is one of the few releases that we actually got in the United States, most of these great shooters. Some of the famous ones like Radiant Silver Gun, for instance, were released only in Japan or in markets other than the uh, North American market. The Saturn is the same generation of game console as the Sony PlayStation, and after playing numerous PlayStation shooters and then picking up the Saturn shooter, you, you can notice the differences fairly easily. doesn't mess around much with 3D. It's pretty much straightforward, two-dimensional shooter goodness. It's fluid, it's smooth, there's a bit of slowdown here and there, but not enough to get, into, to get in the way of the gameplay. Take that, you stupid shrimp. It's really pleasing to the eyes. The music and sound effects are excellent. You only use two buttons in the game. You shoot, and then you have your special weapon, black hole, sea creature, digesting, explodey, uh, lightning thing. unbelievably challenging and has one of the greatest end bosses I've ever seen, Electric Fan, the Disco Boogaloo. Get this guy a cardboard box because he needs to break dance.
I love the way the end bosses explode in this game. It's just like Voltron. Remember when he would slash through things and they'd kind of hover there for a moment, slide into, and then explode? I'm breaking this into a two-part review because there's so much goodness here that it's tough to cover in just a few minutes. I'll cover the basics here. You're flying the spaceship and there's power-ups that you can collect and add to your missiles, your shield, and your main weapons. Your speed is consistent throughout the game, so there's no speed changes. On the top left of the screen, you can see there's your missile power, your shield power, and your gun power. You can just see with your eyes what you're actually shooting. It is essential to power up your weapons, shields, and missiles in this game if you are going to survive past the first couple levels. It's a game that requires strict knowledge of each of the levels. You really have to know what's going on, what's coming at you, because if you make any mistakes early on, you're through. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure, too. You can actually select your path through to the end of the game. I've been playing this for a couple weeks, so I haven't reached the ending yet. In fact, this is the furthest I've gotten in this game. I've really mastered those first couple levels that I've been practicing. And we'll see what a horrible disaster my game turns into when I don't have the, uh, have the level actually memorized. I'll show some of the other levels in part two of the review, but this game is very affordable today. I think I picked my copy up for just a buck or two, plus, a, plus some shipping online. And this is every bit as good as one of the better Thunder Force games. I like this game as much as Einhander, but the graphics and the style and the, and the terrific music, everything makes for a really enjoyable gameplay experience. So even if you're not so much of a hardcore gamer, I think it's a lot of fun to get into this game Figure out the strategies to get through it. Blow up some fish. And with enemies like Electric Fan, I almost feel bad for destroying them. 